To me, Miss Hardwork U is much more than a beauty pageant or anything like that. And I believe that people have the wrong idea about pageants when you say that word. I think that Miss Hardwork U is about just helping women utilize the skills that they have and the talents um, that they were gifted with. Miss Hardwork U means being a representative of many to me to accurately represent all of the wonderful women on campus. It means to be a Proverbs 31 woman, a woman who is clothed with strength and works with willing hands. Miss Hardwork U means to me a chance to reflect back on my time at College of the Ozarks and getting to see how I've grown as an individual and getting to represent College of the Ozarks. And it means a lot to me to get to be a part of this opportunity. Um, it's just another chance to learn and grow and walk alongside other godly women to represent our school. I've always thought of when I saw other women that were Miss Hardwork U that their role was to represent the college well, to be somebody who um, loved the college and loved um, the opportunity that they had here um, and how it was willing to share with others why she liked C of O um, and also be honest about um, the difficulties in it. Now being involved in the process, um, after writing the paper and getting to know more people into it, um, Miss Hard Work U is now more of just understanding um, how you've grown throughout the college experience at College of the Ozarks and it has helped me understand how I've been impacted by people in my classes, my teachers, my work supervisors. My friends and family would describe my personality as very caring. Um, a lot of my friends call me mom <laughs> because I have a tendency to mom them in a way. I just want to make sure that they're well taken care of and just make sure that they're taking care of themselves. And they would also describe me as determined and hardworking. I think that it's very important um, to work for what you want in life, and that's the only way to get there, is by working hard, um, and of course, by following God's path. The movie that best describes my life is Disney's Inside Out, and it describes my life because I see how Christ lives in me, and He shines outwardly through me, and I really take that to heart in the sense that I can't do great things in life without Christ working through me and that just is how he shines through me. What would the title of my autobiography be? Um, well, I think it'd probably be something along the lines of klutzy um, and grace. Just embody those two things because I feel like a whole lot of my life is just a matter of continually fumbling through things but like the Lord's grace being completely continues to shine his grace on me and he's sovereign in that and that no matter how many times I mess up um, or just do silly things he's got me in his grace. The thing I'm looking forward to after graduation is uh, pursuing my goals of becoming a school counselor and being able to help students transition from high school into adulthood. I also thought about maybe helping um, foster care kids who age out of the system um, transition to adulthood because oftentimes they don't have the help that they need in order to be successful. At this time, my biggest fear is also my biggest passion, and that is nursing school. Being a nursing major is the biggest challenge I have ever, ever undertaken. And every day presents new challenges, new assignments. I'm not sure if I'm going to complete well enough, but I know that with God beside me and professors to support me and all my friends who are always there to encourage me, I know I can get through this. And there are days that I do have fears. What if I'm not enough? What if I'm not able to correctly take care of the people I love when I get older or pursue my calling as a nurse? But I know that this has been my calling by Christ. And because He's brought me to it, He will bring me through it.